Mapposhka. We're going to see a bit of an attempt onto Yasuro down here, but quickly with the tear that Mapposhka giving him the ability to turn things around safe will pop the fairy fire. Yeah, are they going to have quite enough to take down the Bane? They won't. Saves able to get out of reach of the Terror Blade. DM a little short there on the Swashbuckle. That's going to cost him his life. Uh, Ops to sort of stay close rather than go for the full distance on the Swashbuckle. And Yatoro, of course, with a point in that reflection. Now, one thing that uh, so definitely stands out to me this game when you look at both drafts is you know, VP, whilst they've got the killers and the fighters, they don't really have the tower push right. They're, they're, they're going to have yeah. to get a lot of blood spill to actually get the room to, to push down objectives. Well, meanwhile, on, on Spirit, well, they will lose Collapse top, but when, when Spirit group up, towers will just crumble to this Leshrac and Terrorblade, right? Yeah, absolutely. And generally speaking, when you play really long cooldown drafts, you will see teams want to have tower damage as the Toro is going to get caught here by the Haste Viper. See if he's got any way out. There's a lot of damage for GPK. There's no way for Yatoro to run away from this. Maposhka as well will also die. Tries to get the Courier on the way out, but he won't have enough damage to do so. A very hard-hitting move there from GPK down on the bottom lane. Yeah, and this is just the importance of room control. I think the Tide just might be too big of a problem, but we'll see. I mean, collapse last game. Did have quite the impact. And we'll manage to catch him on his own. He is rather tanky. They should get the job done here as long as Collapse does live. He does still end up eventually going down. Yep, and Team Spirit immediately on the response, right? Toronto Tokyo runs up the mid lane, pressures that tower. As soon as VP makes a move, he's been in the right place to apply tower damage. And this is really good by them because they keep forcing the, the VP heroes around. Another quick grab on to save. Yeah, the three men of Team Spirit are doing a great job. The two supports together with Toronto Tokyo just running around applying pressure. And if he gets a rune here, that should lead into a play. For the BKB before he really gets stuck in with the team. I think most likely the Disco will try to take some sort of engagement. It's a strong timing as the Titan gets caught now. But you, you see, they can't stun him on top of That's the Nether Toxin. Yeah, he's straight out of the Nether Toxin. And now there's been a chance for the response to come in from Spirit. Toronto Tokyo has been brought in, but the damage is actually too much here. And Spirit, they try and take this fight, but that's going to be one, that's going to be two going down. As maybe just overestimating their capability to get kills with the damage of the Leshrac. We see Les just get a long time to, to ramp his game up in the first match of the series. Yeah, absolutely. And I really do think like Collapse comes in at a really clutch timing for their team. Up until the time that he gets his blink, mm -hmm. you rarely see Team Spirit kind of group up. And in game one, you had Yatoro playing a more active hero as he's top here, caught here at the top lane. He this is. Huge. He has got a Sunder if he gets out, but there's nothing to stop the, stop the grip here. Mira was trying to find save. Nightfall, he's already out through the tree line. He's going to be fine. They'll turn for save. Should get the Bane. And of course, the bigger loss being theirs. Yatoro taking down VP at the same time. DM applying pressure on the mid Toronto Tokyo, not able to find the lead in. Yeah, just good. I think this is. Yeah, and he has that illusion rune bottled up, so that can be used to disjoint the Leshrac stun out of Yules if he times it perfectly. I still want to get something here, Spirit. Kingslayer. He's going to walk into the action, but GPK is around to try and help them fight. A hex out. Good wall drop as well, though. Mira just lays down the Serpent Wards, and GPK. He'll quickly follow after the death of Kingslayer. I mean, I guess what they felt that they could get a kill whilst the Outer Time was... ...the Wisp and the Leshrac. And I don't think GPK expected him to be on that side of the map, simply put. Oh, absolutely. Not at all, it seems. DM is ready to go. In with the blink. Good setup and a good angle here, catching them close to the stairs. The sleep as well, allowing for a further bounce back and a third into the splitter. Perfect showing there from DM, jumping in with his blink pickup. And this time it was Spirit, the one prepared for the moves of VP. Mirror as well, also to go down. DM leads the way, and they couldn't have set it up any better there. Nightfall picking up every single one of those kills. Yeah, and now they're definitely going to be eyeing up Roche. There is a Ravage ready. Mid lane. I mean, the fan collapse again. Collapse, trying to get a bit of peace here. Will be able to force over the terrain to try and get up to the triangle. Mira locking back Nightfall with the X collapse. He's looking to turn with the gush. They're bringing in the backup. Maposhka's brought to run a Tokyo in with the ult. It's already out for Nightfall. Turns over towards collapse after Tyler to going down. Maposhka torn apart by the claws of the.
the bear. Nightfall, he's not done yet either. Over the Viper, now towards Yatoro, the stop, allowing Pipi to set up around the grips in. They've caught Yatoro. They may have lost Nightfall the once, but Yatoro, he's dropping low. Stick, Sunder, back up to a decent amount of HP, but Nightfall's back up. Second line from ready to roll. The Hex momentarily holding back the bear, but King Slayer, the rest of VP, just smashed down the Terror Blade. A beautiful play from VP there. During all this, the reason that Relocate come in, comes in so late tide, they have the Ursa, right? He's gonna eventually hopefully buy an Agonims, and then he can just ignore the Ravage. He gets sure. Ravage, pops his ulti, and he's completely fine. Yeah, Nightfall certainly on track to hitting great timings this game. See, they've got their eyes down bottom, ready to set up onto Toronto DM. He's got the lead in, up with the Yours, the bounce back into the Fiend's grip. You see an attempt to take him out there, Maposka, but he can't get him out in time. Top lane, GPK also starting up some further action for VP. As Mira getting a little too close to the Viper, should die, tries to hide in the trees, but GPK has got his eyes on them, Mira will fall. Yeah, and middle lane collapse has been caught out too. There's just so much going on at once from VP. I mean, yeah, this is, it's just falling apart really for Spirit. Godlike on the Ursa. I Spirit, and they, they may only be 5k down, but as I say, it's just a complete mirror. There are pings about smoke wraparounds, and here we go. VP okay. smokes Whoa, up. Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna try. So now here's the question: Which angle is Team Spirit not covering? Spirit. And are they gonna find it? The collapse is watching for the high ground. Toronto Tokyo is actually gonna blink in straight away into the river. Gets the stun on the other side. Collapses in with the ravages. Caught the three of them. It's gonna be King Slayer going down. Immediate buyback. They'll tell you, Tora. You're sorry, big hit people. The feast group there will get cancelled for now. Mira, take it out here. As they'll try and go for more GPKs onto collapse. Forcing the tide away, TP out, safe, he's able to get in, Nightmare! Puts a stop to the TP, Collapse, trying to hide in the trees. Oh, he's actually going to be able to make it out with the Blink! What They're going to still try and chase their VP. They have seen him in the trees here with the Spirit out. King Slayer will spot him out. GPK takes him down. Bottom, Toronto Tokyo also taken out by Nightfall. Great read on the map, recognizing that he's there. So now Metamorphosis has been used, Ravage has been used. A DD rune as well outside of the pit, it's gonna be a quick one. Spirit though, they're smoked up, they're looking to take the fight. Terrorblade metas up, Ravage is back up. And initiation's everything here. They've got to get it so quick, but this DD is falling so fast. Spirit, they will start things off with finding safe. Not a bad way to begin the action, Bane's gone. Safe has the buyback if he wants to pop it. Toronto Tokyo has been caught out there by DM. PKB and Yul's up into the air, Collapse, he's ever gonna get the oh, Aegis! He gets the Aegis! He gets the Chief as well, Collapse! Just walks in! Chief, it's actually been left behind, he doesn't even want it! He starts to back away! Yatoro gets fully focused by Nightfall! I mean, Collapse may have got the Aegis, but they've lost their carry! They'll lose Collapse, they're once almost certainly gonna lose him again here off the respawn by Warblink! Ah, he's not making it away with that TP! Basher from Nightfall kicks in, he will go down! Cheese is still there, but he he gets and he takes the 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 Aegis. Who got the Aghanims? Mid game piece. And yeah. if you think about the story of this game, they didn't have a mid game. Their mid game was just running away from VP and trying not to give away kills. Oh, look at that. Okay, yeah, okay, he's up to the 89. I was going to say, yeah, that 66 was earlier. So yeah, up to 89% of the win probability. And also Maposka. Maposka's out. Toronto Tokyo will take out Kingslayer. They get the Serpent Wards down as well. Mirror with the grip. Awesome save. As both of VP supports gone. Can they get more out of the Shatora? He's in with the metamorphosis and the BKB. Jump for collapse at the Ravage Nightfall. Knocked down. Stunned from the Toronto Tokyo Nightfall. Getting low. Taken down. They get the answer. A big kill here for Spirit. What more can they find? Up to the high ground. They're trying to chase GPK. But GPK's got the back up. King Slayer fighting back. In action with Yatora. Sunder. Back up to full HP. Tries for the TP out. But the damage is done. Yatora will fall. Spirit. They lose their carry at the end of it, but not a bad hit and punch into VP there is a fair bit. Especially with the way that Save has already been able to make those big ults happen. And, you know, Yatoro's life getting harder. He's got to keep himself completely away from this Bane, otherwise Save will to look to lock him down. Yep. Trying to jump, but already GPK, oh, he's gone in as well. Slides himself back down to the low ground with the Hurricane Pike, mirrors out. DM diving under the tier falls with the Rolling Thunder, there's the grip. Save, has the control of Yatoro, Yatoro needs help, he needs it now, he's not going to get it. The splitter comes out, Kingslayer takes down Yatoro. No buyback on the Terror Blade, he hasn't got the dollar. Huge opening, it's beautiful. You see how fearless they are. Immediately they see Mira out of position, go. Entire team commits to it. Collapse. 
trying to draw their attention away from the base. He does have a buyback, so they're just trying to buy time for the Terrorblade to spawn, but I don't know, and I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, just so much money on GPK. GP, but again, just dropping these wards down. Everything they can possibly do to take VP's attention off the base. 15 seconds. GPK committing with the BKB, but Collapse is able to slide back to the Fountain. There is a Refresher Shard on the Viper, though, so he will have that BKB out back up. 10 again. seconds until the Terra Blade, but VP, they're looking to end it. Refresher Shard in the second round of the BKB. They've got the grab with the grab. It's chosen for Collapse. It doesn't matter with the BKB. is VP can focus the Ancient and end the game. As Game 2 versus Pro will manage to keep the series even one to one now between VP and Spirit, we're getting a Game 3, Aiden. And this was just a masterclass from VP, how to play from ahead. What do you do when you have the right heroes that can kill the enemy team? And it was perfect. Can't wait to rewatch this replay and learn from them. Yeah, absolutely. The way they controlled things right up until the end. Uh, great to see as well on the main stage. We're excited at the start of the game. You know, GPK back on his Viper and top form indeed. 6-2-14, Nightfall as well. 19-2-6, keeping up...